just a minute I'm coming to land because I need to warm up because before I do these kind of videos welcome back <laughs> it's been a while so uh, sorry if I misspell some things uh, it's been really a while since I talked English for the last time so I hope it will not be too bad with my French accent <laughs> so yeah it's winter here in France uh, it's quite cold right now, it's about 1 degree Celsius, so just above above freezing. Uh, it snowed uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, as you can tell, there is still some snow on the mountains around. There is not anything anymore on the ground, just, made, just a bit in the shadow, but that's about it. Um, there is sun, it's been uh, like 2 or 3 weeks since I've seen the sun. So uh, it's it's cool. Uh, so yeah, today we are here to talk about thermals. What is the difference uh, between thermals in the summer when it's 25 to 30 degrees Celsius to right now uh, when it's about freezing temperature? Uh, what is the difference? So it's flight talk. So I will launch my glider. Uh, about the glider, it's and energy uh, one of the first one it's i think it's the third or fourth swing uh, from the mold it's three years old the fuse the tails is all three years old and it still works perfectly flies perfectly i love this glider <laughs> so yeah if you are looking for a glider energy baby so let's go let's go fly i will throw from there don't want to throw too hard because I don't want to rip off my fingers uh, uh, because it's really cold so I will look for thermals and I think I found one there is a bit of wind pulling that way so could be yep there is something right there it's moving a bit it's wiggling so what is the difference between a winter thermal and a summer thermal the, the violence <laughs> so yes uh, there is few things uh, and most of it is the speed of climbing of the thermal so and it's only because of uh, one really simple thing the heat difference in the air when it's really cold like right now and with the sun as low as it is in Europe uh, in winter the sun doesn't make really a lot of heat so the thermals are not really powerful because of that because they it couldn't be any uh, really heat transfer from the sun to something dark or dense like a road or the dirt or rocks on the ground uh, because the sun doesn't produce uh, as much heat as in the summer uh, as le at least as what we feel uh, the UVs all of this uh, infrared uh, because it's lower so yeah you know the science I <laughs> I'm not the science professor anyway so we don't get as much heat and so the difference uh, of temperature between cold things and hot things is not as much as in the summer because in the summer if you take a road and a grass a field grass grass field uh, the temperature uh, between them can be as high as maybe 15 degrees celsius maybe more so the air that is climbing from the road because it's hot will climb way faster than in winter if it's only three degrees uh, between the road and the field because the difference in temperature is just way less so it's how it works and it's why thermals in winter are way harder to find because there is less thermals, for, first of all, and 
they are way weaker so <laughs> to find them it's more difficult and as they are weaker the um, the limits of the thermals are less defined so they are more difficult to feel when it's the border so you can turn just outside of it really easily uh, I just want to make it to there yes maybe maybe yes <laughs> got it so yeah that's about it about the explanation between winter and summer so if you have any questions feel free to come on down below and to ask me because I'm here to reply I think it's important to say to you I'm here to reply and don't forget to like subscribe and everything that's good for the channel so yeah see you next time bye